Ronald Reagan Nuclear Time Warp 1983 Star Wars Nuclear Defense Shield. It's my great privilege and honor to do so. It's actually it's actually a real shield. Uh, it was built before 1983. It was announced in 1983. It was operation before 1978. I'm nine upside down, inside out woman at a time. You take a nine, you flip it upside down, you got a D. Inside out is a six, and then I'm um, inside out would be MI6, and one minute at a time. It's a little code with a little cipher, which makes me an enemy combatant prisoner of war uh, with a head full of classified information. So, you know, if they had wanted me dead, I'd have been dead a long time ago. They still think I have information that's pertinent to U.S. interests, which I do. So, basically, it's a situation where, based on time theory, the one minute at a time, MI6 can fold space and time back upon itself up to one minute out. You say, but we're in the United States. True, but Section 6 runs this country. And Ronald Reagan was a double for MI6, so was John Nash, and actually so was Einstein, who was um, basically, it's, it's, it, they're, so was Philip K. Dick. I mean, they're, they're so entrenched in this government, it's not, even, it's not even funny. So actually, with time warp, energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. It's a, it's a branch of science known as time theory. And time's relative to the speed of light. So uh, the Star Wars program can fold space and time back upon itself up to one minute out, and therefore every long-range nuclear uh, ICBM from Russia would miss from Lancia Air and Space. So we're not in September 1949. Your mind instantly goes, well, why don't they just use it to make a ton of money? Well, Section 6 could, but the method to the, to the machine that does so is only known by the director, and a handful of scientists who are able to do it, and the machine's implemented. And it's basically it's a handful of people that can do it, none of whom are known to the public. So it's, you know, my great privilege and honor to make this announcement. Um, all your missiles will miss. They wouldn't even respond. It would be as helpless. You firing on the U.S., the U.K., or Canada would be as helpless as a Gaza rocket to Jerusalem. It's just shot out of the sky, an Iraqi... Uh, missile that's you know fired on the U.S. or fired on uh, you know Scud missile. So don't don't even bother. 